Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, back with your next episode of Oxygen Not Included. <sighs> so we've gone through, and there's been so many things that we've gotten accomplished. Figured out what our issue was over here. Um, this stopped being self-sufficient because we stopped getting water in here. We stopped getting water in here because this is not outputting enough water into the system. So I had to start refining the water again with the uh, salt water refinement and the desalinator. So that's okay though. We're getting it done. Um, need to get this hooked up to get this hydrogen pumped out of here. Uh, I mean, it's been, it's actually been nice to have it in here because it's kind of cooled things off a little bit. We don't really need it in here. Um, so we've got this going again. We've got that going. Um, our rocket has been sent off many times now, and we have the solid oxidizer, uh, liquid fuel tanks, and stuff like that. Um, we are going to now need to get solid cargo. Uh, let's see, looking at the star map and these two guys here, so fullerene and isoresin. Those are the two things that we need big time. Okay, so we're going to need to get a cargo ship set up to get up to there. Uh, we've got our iron volcano working down here very nicely. Um, this still has not exploded into steam yet, but it is getting there. It is definitely getting there. The water is currently sitting at 209. Um, let's see, this is at, wow, that's at 2000 degrees. That's at 209, 209, and 2000. So as soon as that pumps... Uh, through there, then um, that will definitely get kicked out. I want to say, yeah, I'm going to say 200 for right now. Or do we want to go maybe 210? Because I don't want it to cool down too much because that's going to cool the water down. So let's say under 210. That'll kick it out. Ooh, did something really hot just get out of there? Eh, no. That's okay. See, there's some steam is starting to happen in here. Which is good. I like that. Alright. So, the other thing that I'm doing right now, too, is... Oh, we've already done it. Okay, good. I'm having to... I have to dig out this area down here. We need fossil. And in order for me to get fossil, I have to dig for it big time because we are out of lime. There's no lime whatsoever. I'm having a hard time with, um, I'm having a hard time with getting hatcheries done. I, I need to get, um, what is it? I need to get some incubators set up is what I need to do. Uh, can I, is that still too much? No, good. <laughs> good, we need to get this mopped up. Big time, get that mopped up. Um, and then we also need to get the rest of the bedrooms in here. We need to get these built as well. So we've got a lot going on, we've got a lot to do. I think the main thing that I really want to focus on today is going to be kind of up in here uh, and getting this reworked. So let me kick you out of there because what we're going to need to do is a couple things um so on the star map here let's let the auto save happen so we're going to need a rocket that's going to get us to these carbon asteroids right and then we're also going to need our research rocket to be able to get to these further asteroids now, for that to get to the further asteroids, each one of these has five units on it, right? There's five things that it needs to, to research. Um, so we're going to have to deconstruct our steam engine here. We're going to need to deconstruct one of the research nodules. And you can do all of this with this other stuff sitting on top of it. It's just when you're building it, you can't build um, unless... 
you have something underneath it, which is kind of weird, but that's just the way it is. So <laughs> um, let's go ahead and copy this. We're going to give ourselves, um, we're going to go to here. And then uh, I'm going to go here. Because with this, we'll have the petroleum engine that's going to go here. And then we have to have a fuel tank that goes on here as well. Not going to do with any boosters or anything like that. I'm going to rocket tree. And I'm going to go with petroleum engine. Thankfully, it's only 200. How much the steam engine was 2000. That's interesting. I'm wondering if that's a typo. I'm wondering if that's like a little typo. Because it would make sense if it was 2000. I'm just saying. Okay, so that can go here. And then we're going to need to also have a liquid fuel tank. Oh, we have to have, sorry, we have to have two tanks on here. We have to have a liquid fuel tank and then we have to have a solid oxidizer tank. We have to have both of those. So you need to go here. And you need to get deconstructed. One, two... I don't know if that's going to be close enough. Take that off of there. Alright, so both of those need to be deconstructed. This needs to be deconstructed. So we have to deconstruct a bunch of this stuff. Well, let's not deconstruct that until we get that done. Oh, man. Um, and actually... Let's not do that. Let's go ahead and copy this and put it here. Because we're going to have to have a platform to come out to the solid oxidizer tank anyway. Um, ugh, speaking of, we're going to have to have oxygen or we're going to have to have oxalite. Do I have this set up for that yet? Not really. Got hydrogen going in through here. I have oxygen going into here. And I can use this for... Aha, so we can have oxalite going right here. So refinement, oxalite refinery. Let's get rid of these. Uh, get rid of what buildings? Okay. This is perfect. Um, so we need to add two of these onto here. We need to add a liquid fuel tank here. Come on. And then the solid oxidizer tank can go here once that's built. And then we have petroleum currently right here. That needs to go up to that. So if we have that go to there, flow over, up, and in. Okay. And then we can have, let's see, this is a bit of a mess. Let's have this go over this way and then up like that. Copy that, have this go all the way up. That works. That'll go into here. And then we've got, okay. So there's that. Now, if we are only going 10,000 kilometers, right? If we're only going 10,000 kilometers, we're not going to need a whole lot of fuel here. Now, there's a little website that I use that I know a lot of people use, and it's called the AniAssistant.com, and I'll put it in the description down below um, for a rocket calculator. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up here. All right, so this is what I'm talking about is you've got this website here and this will actually tell you how much fuel that you need according to what you've got available. Um, so right now we're using a petroleum engine 
we are using five research um, compartments, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, and then we have the, you have two different, um, two different types of fuel or two different types of oxidizers, I should say. You've got liquid oxygen and oxalites, okay? So oxalite is what we're using because it's the solid oxalite. And we can go 10,000. So that's as far as we can go with 10,000 on this research. Uh, on this uh, research rocket, I should say. Um, if we want to go 20,000, it upticks it to that. If we want to do 30,000, it goes up to that. But if we go 40,000... It goes up to that and it tells you how many tanks down here that you need. As soon as we hit 40,000, it takes us up to two tanks because this tank can only fit 900 kilograms of liquid oxygen into it. Now this fits up to like 1900 or something like that. So, um, yeah. So 30,000 is about the furthest distance that we can go with the researching until we have to add more tanks onto it. All right, so once we get this built in here, then we'll be able to do some more. And this is part of the reason why I've designed this to be so long, is so that we can go in and add more onto here. Um, now, if I add, if I copy this, add this here, and then add that here, I'll only be able to add one more probably onto here. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, let's go with... where's it at? Alright, so the Oxalite Refinery. I'm gonna put two of them in here. Look at temperature is good up here. This is going to go... Like this. And I know there's polluted oxygen in there. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Um, electricity is what I also wanted to look at. So I think we're gonna end up putting, let's grab this. Let's go with one, two, three. We're gonna stick this here. Because the problem is, is that these are 1200. Yeah, 1200 watts. Um, <laughs> uh, so we're going to have to actually have two of these. One for each, because that's not going to be able to handle all of that. So this is going to go... Whoops directly into there. This will go over, down, and into there. Okay. This, um, this thing's getting in my way. <laughs> it really is. And I don't need it. I really don't. It's, it's infectious polluted water and we just do not need that. We really don't. Okay, I'm happy with the way that is going. I'm happy with that. Can we get a little bit of an emphasis on getting these done? Okay. So we can have, if we can have dupes working on that and on this. I don't know. Aha, there we go. We have now reached steam status in here, 218 degrees. Problem is, is that, um, the heat is not enough to be deleted. And it's staying at 218 degrees. So what if we go down to 250? I just don't want this to get into a situation to where this is going to start boiling, you know? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, let's stay focused on this up here because as soon as you set this up as nine, then they get it done. All right, so another research node here, and then we're going to go with the solid oxidizer tank here. 
And the reason why I have the gantry out here is because they have to be able to fill the uh, oxalate into here. Speaking of filling the oxalate, um, that I need to put here, that needs to go here. Let's deconstruct that. So we're going to do some automation in here too. So we're going to set up, we're going to do a weight plate that goes there. And then we will do some automation. It goes here. That's what I need to have going on down here. I need more gold to be made. I need that. To give me gold. And then lime. Yep. Lime is the only thing that's holding me back there. Oh wow, they got that in there fast. Um, let's do that. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. Let's go with deconstruct on that. Actually, don't deconstruct that. I need you to deconstruct this, though. Knot gate's going to have to move up. Automation wire is going to have to come down. Um, not gate you. I'm gonna have to go in here. Okay. So that when, you know, we do our thing, and this is ready to launch, that gantry comes back as well. Kind of building two different areas here. I want to make sure that we're getting some things done and other things done as well. So I want to make sure we get this done too. Yeah, I can't really do that. Take that out. Okay. So, we're not going to get a second rocket built today. Because I want to make sure I've got enough. Well, I'll have enough. No, I, I don't think I am going to have enough. Um, this actually works out pretty well, I think. So if I copy, go two more of these. And then... We have this coming all the way up here. We'll do a, another petroleum engine. I want to say right here. It would help if I could actually... There we go. Yeah, I want to say right here. I don't think that's... That's not far enough away from the gantry, though. I don't think. We can try it, and then if we have to dismantle the entire rocket, we will. But let's go here with it. Oh, shoot. Not where it needs to be. Okay, so I do know that. So, okay. So we're going to have that go here, right? Would you quit doing that? I want it to go there. There. Got it. <laughs> that was kind of a pain in the butt. But we got it. We're good. Um, so if we do that, uh, let's get the mesh tile all the way down through here. Except that one. Uh, let's see. We'll add in a door here. So I'm going to go with a mechanized airlock door. That'll go here. 
Uh, we'll continue on with that. We'll leave this here. We have the bunker tile that's here. Okay, so that's... It's almost identical. It's actually one closer to the right with the ladder. So I think we should be okay with the gantry. At least I hope. Okay. Um, can we not? This cannot be done yet. What if we get... The gantry should go here. So that'll help out a little bit. Let's just do that, deconstruct that, deconstruct that. I would kind of like to get the other rocket done. But I don't know if that's going to work or not. We seem to be getting a lot of done in a short amount of time, though. Which I like. I mean, it helps that our steel and everything is up here. All right, so that's now going. This is the, okay. We're getting this in here now too. So let's go with one, two, three, four. So then, like I said, if this goes here, well, that doesn't go here. That goes this goes here on the outside. That actually matches up to that pretty well. Mmm, not really. Well, no, that'll match up to... okay. So then if that goes to here... Bunker tiles will go all the way up to this side. No, it's going to be kind of sketchy. We'll see. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Um, I would much rather this be done first, but you know, whatever. Um, let's do priority nine on all of that for me, please. Okay, thanks. All right. Um, so then switching focus back down to here. <laughs> Shipping, auto sweeper. Make that out of gold and we'll put that here. Um, no, we won't. Oh, that kind of sucks. Well, that's okay. That can still go here. Um, can I get a ladder in between these? Give me... come on. What is that? Sedimentary rock? Yeah, sedimentary. Okay, one, two. We'll go with that. Uh, shipping. Conveyor loader. Ooh. This is a little difficult. <laughs> huh. Okay. So let's let's keep this to here. Let's go with the bottle into your here. Okay. Connect electricity to here. Go with a chute. Wow, this is going really fast. Uh, liquid. I just need... Mm, mm, hold on. What do I have? What do I have around here? I have oil that I could use. I have... 
Eh, might as well just use oil. Um, crude oil, nine, enable auto bottle. And then we'll go with a shoot. We'll go here. Conveyor rail. There. Perfect. I mean, it's really the simplest way you can do this. Um, so then we'll set this up to where we want to go, what, 2,000 kilograms? So two tons? Yeah, yeah. We want about two tons of uh, oxalite in there. I mean, we could do that or we could do it with... Um, we could do it with a smart... No. No, I'm not going to do it with a smart um, storage bin because I don't have the ability to do that right now. So we'll just leave it like this. Let's just get that done. Alright, so we know according to, whoops, the website that we were on, um, we, we also got, we got to pay attention to that too. Um, when we were on there, it said that we needed 308 I'm sorry, 306, 306 kilograms of each of these, okay? So what we want to do is we want to change this to, I'm going to do 310. Um, because if you do, oh, it's 2700. If, if you allow it to get filled all the way, then one, it's going to take forever, and two, you're just wasting it, right? You're just going to completely waste it. We don't want waste. It's the last thing we want to have. Ooh. That is in there. Good. Okay, so we want a liquid fuel tank. We're going to have to delete these one by one. So we don't have a means of getting over there from this side. I mean, that's... I mean, you could use gantries. I mean, that would help with it. Uh, speaking of, we actually need to put one here. That one needs to go there because uh, we will, we're basically going to mimic this, but then once we get to this part, we are going to put cargo on here. Um, oh, that was the other thing that I forgot to look at. I forgot to look to see... So how many cargo modules... If we're going 10,000, can I do two cargo modules? I can. Can I do three cargo modules? I cannot. I can only do two, which I'm good with two. Two, I think, is plenty. Leave that. Copy that. Get all that in there. Okay. Ooh, we're getting some rocket silos. Oh, that's done. So now we can get that back on there and since we've limited that and that those are getting done good this needs to be ooh, this we need to deconstruct <laughs> that we don't need to happen uh this needs to be consumable and oxalite all right those are getting built and then that will also cut down on some of the heat that's going to happen up here, too. Need to get... Need to get something up here to cool this, because it's a little warm. It's a tiny bit warm. Um, get rid of that. Gotta keep an eye on these guys. I'm telling you. All right, let's go ahead and get Lindsay assigned to this. Power, power. We need to get automation hooked up to this one here. Um, that and then a knot gate to there. Okay, so that's good to go. That's good to go. 
still need to get the pipe for this hooked up. Oh, you know what I totally forgot? These need gold. Deconstruct that and that. This reaches to here, so we can have a storage bin here of gold. If I had a gold volcano, God, that would be so nice. <laughs> Uh, I haven't, we still have this area here and this area here of the map to uncover. We already have an iron volcano. I'm wondering if there's, eh, knowing my luck, it'll be a copper volcano. If it's even here. Um, all right, so refined metal, gold, but it was seven to fill that up. Um, currently only have 2,500 kilograms. So that means I need a lot, lot more. Well, we're making it. Right, so this is going, cooling, it's fine. Um, I guess I can go ahead and take this and do that with it. come back I'm like every once in a while I'm just coming back over to the bedrooms and set these up <laughs> oh boy got that okay now what do we got going on up here uh, I do need to kind of do a little bit of an emphasis on this because we want to get these going Right, we want to be able to have a stockpile of oxalite. And then I do want to focus on getting this done too. Because the faster we can get that done, the better that's going to be. So we're working on getting the second rocket in here. We need to be able to, I want to be able to launch this. I don't think that's going to happen though. So we've got ice, carbon, oxygen, methane. What's in this one? Chlorine and bleach stone. Wow. Now I believe with the DLC, when that comes out, we'll actually be able to travel to those planets ourselves and put a dupe on those planets and harvest those planets and send it back to the main colony, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. It definitely adds an extra challenge to the game. Oh yeah, see they're working on these really well. Let's go ahead and get these in here. Oh, that's because I have these at a level 9. That's, er, yeah, priority 9. That's why. I might end up switching this. I might take this and switch it to... Well, I guess it kind of depends, because we can have people in two different spots doing two different things. We have 17 dupes, for crying out loud. <laughs> it's not like we're hurting for dupes. Speaking of, um, why don't we go ahead and add another dupe in here. Let's choose another one. Who do we have? We have Meep, and we have Nisbet. So Meep is allergic to floral scent, so you're done. Um, immune to fume poisoning, can't build. But your suit wearing... I'm going to take you anyway. If you can't build, you can do other things then. Am I going to... Oh, I'm like, am I going to have enough plastic for this? Yeah, I have 27 tons of plastic. I think we'll be okay. I'm actually a little concerned about reed fibers. Now I've got 195. And these only take one. Do, do, do. Getting some good decor. Probably have more things that I can put on the pedestals too. Because each dupe is going to have their own thing. A pinch of pepper. 
Nope, 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 nope. That's all regular stuff. There we go. Small obelisk can go on there. And I think there was a wristwatch too that I saw, so that can also go on here as, as well. Once we get one built. So there's our bathrooms. We still need to get the uh, the piping network done for that too. Um, I'm pretty sure that I can use... Yeah, we can use this one for it. And then we can get all of this to go in here. Let's see. We've got... This is regular water pipes that are coming down. And then the nasty water... so much piping come on there we go okay so all of that hooks up and then all of this can go wow really take it over this way take it up here have it go into here like this. Wow. That's a bit extravagant, but okay. It works. I mean, we're going to need all of that, so... We have... Looks like... Well, there's almost one shower available. So they'll work on that. What are we, how are we doing up here? How are we doing up here? Getting there. We are getting there. Uh, don't have any gold up in here yet. Make that a priority nine. And then let's take this down to, because these guys are really focusing on this right now. Um, take this down to a seven. Okay. Slow it down. As much as I would love to, you know, get the bedrooms done, we have other things we're trying to build. Yeah, but that's not going to happen today. I was really hoping that that was going to take off today, but it's not. Well, we'll get to finishing the construction on the bedrooms, and we'll get to finishing the construction on this, so that at the beginning of the next episode, we can launch the rockets, and we'll be good to go there. Uh, so, questions, comments, concerns, put in the comment section down below. And that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.